going to make the top part of the castle called the battlement. This is the part of the castle that um, they would protect the castle from, from enemies and that kind of thing. And they would hide behind those little um, raised and lowered walls. The, the raised part would provide protection, but the lowered part would provide areas for them to be able to um, see their enemies. Okay. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to see if this clay actually wraps around the castle. And no, it doesn't. And so what we want to do, just very, very simply, I'm going to cut the top part to be approximately about probably about two inches tall. I'm just guessing. We don't have to get a ruler out and measure. Okay, so that is going to be the top part. Again, I'm going to take that extra clay and um, lay it off to the side. Now, because it doesn't fit all the way around uh, the, the body of the castle, then we have to take this and we have to just kind of expand it just a little bit. Now I'm only going up and down on this. Okay, only back and forth on this part of the clay. And so now we just want to take this and check again. Oh, I'm so close, just a little bit further, just a little bit more rolling. Now my clay is still pretty nice and thick. Okay, you don't want it to get too thin. If it looks like it's really, really off and it would just take a whole lot more rolling, then you would need to roll a new piece of clay. Okay, but this is still a good thickness that will work for our wall. Okay, there we go. It can either um, come right up to it or you can have it overlap. I'm going to take mine and I'm going to trim it. You can see right here. I'm going to trim mine so that it is right at the same, right at the edge of the other piece. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking my needle tool, pressing down so that I can see that they are joined, they will be joined together. Okay, now before we actually attach this part onto the castle, I'm going to take that and set that aside. What I need to do now is I need to um, cut the pieces for the top. Okay, so you only want to go down probably about a half an inch or so, and you're just going to cut out these center areas. Try to keep it as even as possible. And pull that extra bit out when you're done just like that and I'll just let this other one go all the way off the edge right there now again these little tiny pieces we may be able to use those um, for other parts of the of the um, castle. In fact, I can turn, take these and I can roll them into bowls and they can be stone on the outside, which would end up, end up working great. Now I'm taking a spray bottle and spritzing my clay because it's just a little on the dry side. And so I want to take it and smooth it out. And I'm actually going to do this on both sides because you don't actually, you don't ever want to have any sharp edges. So I'm taking my finger and I'm knocking down the sharp edge, making it a little bit smoother because believe it or not, the clay actually can cut you after it's been fired. And that is not fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Take it, smooth it out. Even though one of these sides is gonna be the inside, um, we still need to smooth it out. Adding a little bit of water to it like this actually adds to the flexibility of the clay. So as we wrap it around the, the, the top part of our, the body of our castle, then it'll actually um, 
be a lot more flexible and we'll have less cracking occur because we have smoothed it out, okay? So decide which of the two sides you want to have facing outwards. I want to have this part as the top part of my, of my castle. So I do wanna take my modeling tool and I'm just gonna smooth it out just a little bit, just so it looks a little bit nicer on the top like this. Kind of get rid of some of those edges and then take my fingers and just smooth it out a little bit. Now we're gonna be leaving the paper towel roll in the clay until we're almost ready to um, attach the, the body of the castle to the moat. So it's gonna be in there for quite a while. All right, now remember, whenever we want to attach clay to clay, then we have to score and slip. And so the first thing that I wanna do is figure out where my clay is gonna go, how far I want it to be down, and then also um, figure out the area that I am gonna need to score and slip on this as well. Okay, so this is a pretty large area to score and slip. You can pick up your castle if it makes it easier. Don't worry about having fingerprints or anything on the outside of your castle right now because we will be adding texture to it later. Okay. And I want to have approximately score and slip this whole area right here. Okay, and then again, I will take my paintbrush. It's important to use the paintbrush to wiggle on top because it takes the clay from just sitting on the surface to now being a muddy consistency, which is more likely to stick together. So don't skip this process. It's a very important part of the score and slip process. Now what I can do is I can take my clay piece here, I'm gonna lay it on top, just like this, and then I'm gonna pull it up on the side and press, okay? I'm gonna lift it up now, and I wanna take my hands and I wanna compress it. So if I end up having a little bit extra on the side here, I have two options. I can either take my needle tool and just trim the extra, which is what I'm gonna choose to do. Or you could do like we did the body and you um, overlapped. And that would be just fine. Okay, now what happens here is that we need to take our modeling tool and we need to press those together so that that seam goes away. And then I'll take my fingers and I'll smooth out the bottom. So I want to take my finger and I want to smooth where I just joined them together. Just like that. We want them to be joined, but we also want there to be a ledge here to help show that this top part is different from the bottom part. All right, so before we wrap this up in our plastic wrap, then what we need to do is just take our fingers, smooth them out, make sure that there's no sharp edges. One more time. There we go. And then the inside, you can also take your fingers on the inside and smooth that inside out as well. So this is what we have so far. If you have little cracks like this, don't worry about that. You can just take your finger, rub back and forth, and it will put those back together.
So we will be taking three class periods to do our clay castle, which means that we're going to need to store it every day. And so what I want you to do is I want you to take some of the plastic wrap that I've put at your table and I want you to cut it off just like that, lay it down. It will stick to itself. That's what it is designed to do. So just kind of take it, roll it out like that. And then we want to roll up your castle. Okay. After you have wrapped your clay castle in the plastic wrap, I also want you to wrap your extra clay in plastic wrap as well. That way the clay doesn't stick to itself and you can still possibly use it in the large um, slab pieces that it is. Just like that. It does not have to be perfect. We just want to get it in there just to make sure that it doesn't um, stick especially to our castle. Then you'll take a Ziploc bag from your table. You need to write your name on it and your class code and then you will very carefully, I would su suggest putting in any slabs first so your extra clay goes in like this and then your castle will go in next to it. Don't worry about the little uh, pieces of the top part kind of bending over a little bit, that's okay. Take your hands, press it down to get any extra clay out and then make sure that these close firmly together, okay? And then I need you to put these in the box that is at your table.